modern poultry farming technology has dramatically changed egg production, with modern factories processing millions of eggs every day using the latest machinery for grading and packaging. How do these innovations boost efficiency and egg quality? Explore the latest trending farm to discover how these cutting-edge technologies are setting new standards in the poultry industry. Today, more farms are choosing battery cages for raising chickens, reflecting a growing trend in poultry farming. Between 2018 and 2019, 4,379 international buyers imported chicken cages and related products from China, indicating a rising demand for this method. As chicks grow, moving them into cages can be beneficial, especially for commercial farms, as it saves space and reduces feed costs. Cages help separate chickens from waste, reducing the risk of disease. Cage farming allows high-density housing, with three layers of cages accommodating up to 20 chickens per square meter, compared to just five to six on the ground. Labor is also reduced since the system automates feeding, watering, and egg collection. Additionally, feed waste is minimized, and the system enhances disease prevention by reducing contact with waste. Overall, cage farming is an efficient and economical choice for modern poultry operations. Ensuring adequate feed and nutrition for laying hens on the farm requires a precise feeding process to ensure they reach their optimal size and weight. David Denny, owner of a farm with around 120,000 laying hens, relies on a scientifically developed feeding program. The farm carefully prepares their feed using key ingredients such as corn, soybean meal, vegetable oils, minerals and vitamins to meet the nutritional needs of the hens at different stages of growth starter, grower and finisher. The feed is mixed pelletized and delivered to the farms on a schedule, ensuring the birds receive exactly what they need to thrive. In addition, the hens are regularly health checked and vaccinated against common chicken diseases. Farmers on the farm record the daily indicators of the hens to monitor and evaluate the effectiveness. Pounds. 
And then I actually only did five pounds of split peas in. For more detailed information on chicken diseases and how to prevent and treat them, farmers often consult veterinarians or local veterinary stations. Like a food factory, every step in egg harvesting and processing follows a systematic sequence to ensure quality and safety. First, eggs are collected and placed on an aggregator, which sorts them before they are transferred to the orienter. The orienter aligns the eggs evenly for further processing. Next, the eggs are sterilized with ultraviolet light to kill bacteria on the surface, ensuring they are safe for consumption. The eggs are then passed through a candling process, where they are inspected for internal defects, followed by crack detection to identify any defects in the shell. Finally, the eggs are graded based on size and quality. A semi-automatic egg separator is used to separate the egg trays, and the eggs are placed on a conveyor for efficient movement through the food factory or hatchery. The eggs are then packed into cartons or trays ready to leave the farm, In a food factory, chicken eggs are incubated under controlled conditions to ensure successful hatching. Before incubation, eggs are stored at 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit to slow embryo development. Once ready, they are placed in incubators set to 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit for humidity. The incubators turn the eggs regularly to mimic natural conditions, supporting healthy embryo growth. After 18 days, eggs are transferred to a hatcher with adjusted temperature and humidity to aid the hatching process. The entire incubation typically lasts 21 days, resulting in healthy chicks. After the chicks have successfully hatched at the factory, you are wondering where they go, right? How does the journey from the incubation area to the specialized chick house take place? Like the video and follow along for more details. Transporting chicks requires careful preparation and attention to detail to ensure their safety and well-being. Farmers choose clean, well-ventilated transport boxes made of cardboard or plastic, 
ensuring they are large enough to allow the chicks to move freely. Arrange the chicks with enough space and remove any weak or sick ones before transporting. It is important to maintain a stable temperature during transport, especially for newly hatched chicks, by using heat sources such as heat lamps or hot water bottles. Make sure the box is well ventilated with small holes or air pockets to allow adequate air circulation. For long journeys, they provide small amounts of feed and clean water for the chicks right inside the box. Food factory workers use a temperature-controlled vehicle as a specialized poultry transport vehicle. Upon arrival, they recheck the condition of the chicks Call any that do not meet standards and place them in a prepared environment with the correct temperature, humidity, food, and clean water. Caring for chicks requires careful attention to ensure their healthy development. Before the chicks arrive at the farm, workers prepare the house by thoroughly cleaning and disinfecting it to eliminate bacteria. They equip the house with an infrared heating system to maintain an initial temperature of 32 to 35 Dg, G, gradually decreasing it as the chicks grow. In addition, a continuous lighting system is provided in the early days to promote eating and movement, then gradually reducing the light over time. The farm uses specialized industrial feed, ensuring that the food is fresh and appropriate for the age and breed of the chicks. Clean water is provided daily, using easy-to-clean drinking bottles. Maintain daily hygiene by cleaning the house and equipment and regularly monitoring the health of the chicks. Adjust the temperature when necessary, supplement vitamins, avoid overcrowding, and adhere to the vaccination schedule. Effective waste management is also important to prevent contamination. For best practices, the farm consulted with experts or experienced individuals, especially with food plant-related operations.